An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. What's up, everybody? It's Rev and like Reborn. You. We were back with the official you part one of the walkthrough kind of, of Dark Didn't Souls you? 2. We are just getting into making our character. You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes. You will become one of them. Hollows prey upon men, feast upon their souls. And, uh, got this all the witches the here talking the their gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> what is your name? What is my name? What is my name? Hmm. What is my name? Well, obviously we're gonna go with Revan. Because we're awesome. <laughs> At least you know your own name. Here's your reward for sharing. It's a human effigy. Take a closer look. Who do you think it's supposed to be? Think back, deep into your past. Yes, it's an effigy of you. Here's where we actually make our class. Starting classes, you can be a warrior, battle scarred warrior, high strength, dexterity, skilled with weapons. This is gonna be like your straight up brawler, melee fighter. And then this guy is gonna be your tanky build, traveling knight, high HP and adaptability. Tough to take down. Eh, kind of are. I mean, you have a lot of strength, so you're going to be dishing out heavy damage, and you have decent HP, so you're going to be living. Now, usually when I play through on these games, especially Dark Souls 2, for some reason I always, always find myself using the Swordsman. I don't know why, I just, I do. I find myself using the Swordsman. I think it's just because I like the Swordsman. Fun, fun starting out with. You get two plus one weapons. He's overall decent. Then you have the bandit. Not a big fan of the bandit. Because high dexterity, yeah. Skilled with bow. Fights well at various ranges. The bow in this game is honestly probably like the one of the worst weapons. It's mainly used for like very precise ordeals I guess you could say and then we got the cleric on pilgrimage high faith in miracles guide the way well faith in miracles that's just miracle spells so it's like this is kind of like your tank healer class I guess you would say and then this is your sorcerer knowledgeable sorcerer oh yes I mean, it's pretty obvious what this is. He's a mage. Um, you just get a dagger with him and you get simple spell. Now, spells are very good later on in the game. At the beginning, they're not too good at all. I mean, they're good. It's just you got to know what you're doing in order to use them correctly. And then you got the explorer. He's not very skilled with anything, but he has a lot of items. So it's like, he's just well equipped for what's going on, pretty much. I mean, just look at him. He just, he just looks like the handy dandy backpack. And then you have the deprived. Level one, all stats start at six. But let's go ahead and get on with, uh, making the face
Well, purple's my favorite color, so we're gonna go with purple eyes, white hair. No beard, probably no tattoo. Alright, so that's our character. I don't go into too much detail with uh, the um, face on these games. Like scrawny and muscular. Alright, anyways. So, ugh, I mean, I always pick this one. I might pick the knight. Maybe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start with the knight for right now. And as for my gift, most people want the life ring because it does increase your health that you start out with. But I believe it only increases it by like 20 or 30, and it's not that much. Other people would say healing wares for strategy or human effigy, but nope. For me, I usually get the bonfire aesthetic, and I'll show you why later on. All people come here for the same reason. Alright. Alright. So we go up here, get this chest. Alright, and we will be back next time where we will actually start our adventure into Dark Souls 2. So tune in for the next episode, guys.